Welcome back to the channel where as always the hair might be fake but the reviews aren't any there are my opinions today we're looking at a old school mod here. This is a Gen 1 Elite Blue Strife and I modded it to take three IMRs and one dummy battery. Let's get on into the video. First question you guys are probably asking yourself why did you do this to a Gen 1? Because you that's why. <laughs> In all reality a lot of people have a Gen 1 Strife that they just like it's my only one. I don't want to mod it. Oh, it's so sentimental to me. Oh, eh. it's like, shut up and just mod the damn thing, please. These are really fun to mod and these are really cool to mod. I enjoy modding these because people get pissed off about it. Did to wrestle some jimmies there. And it's fun. It's a fun little mod to do. IMRs, in my personal opinion, are still something that you can use. Are they practical? Well, you know, there's give and take on IMRs, but for mid to low FPS games, in terms of me speaking for low FPS in the outcast games, it is usually 100 to 110 FPS. Um, this is shooting about 110 FPS without any, you know, trigger spamming. But with that, I'm losing about 10 FPS, shooting around 100 FPS on IMRs, and it's doing pretty good, honestly. Um, still practical in terms of still using external box magazines on full length because I didn't need this to shoot half length that would lose more FPS by that. And 100 FPS is right in that sweet spot of where I want to be for our outcast basic games. I actually don't have a strife in my shop that shoots 100 FPS even. Not even a spectrum. I don't have a spectrum at all. So those were two issues that this blaster fills with IMRs and people are like, go to LiPo, go to LiPo, go to LiPo. No, I'm not doing it. I have multiple LiPo stripes in my shop. I just don't need it. Now, this is very bare bones uh, rundown uh, here. This is stockade stock, um, really comfortable, really stable stock. I actually used to think these were really flimsy, but it's like now that I have one and since it's been so long, yeah, it's pretty stable. Uh, up here, I have my homemade flashlight that is held on with zip ties on the front and just put on an end strike rail so it can found any end strike rail. So that's there. Uh, very, very well made flashlight. It's better than any Nerf flashlight. A few AAA batteries and you're good to go. Um, motors are stock Gen 1 Strife motors, stock wheels, and stock flywheel cage because I was lazy this time. I didn't really feel like doing anything else. You guys can roast me in the comments for that. Um, Performance, like I said, 110 FPS and then 110 FPS on trigger spamming. So, we have the CL on the range. Starting off with some Rosa Ruby darts. So, final thoughts and opinions on the project, well, it's not very hard to say. Uh, I love this thing. It is awesome. I enjoy it so much. Running magazines in this is great. It's fun. It's simple. I think a lot of us forget the joys and the simple enjoyment that comes with these very basic, you know, common mods that we do in light boat stripes, but just forget how simple that, you know, the old stuff is. Um, Re-replicating the trigger has been... You know, running like a dream, super smooth, super quick, just, it's really nice. Mag release is great, um, granite worker ones are a little bit better, but I don't need that in this blaster. So I've enjoyed this so much, and it's been just a really nice experience, and one of many IMR stripes I've actually done. I've done probably a little bit over 100 IMR stripes in my lifetime, and it's been a lot of fun. Now... This is my personal IMR Strife, and I don't think I'll ever get rid of it, and probably never will happen. Um, even if I leave a hobby, this thing will probably stay in my collection forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it down in the comment section. If you guys would like to s support the channel and what I do here, there are very simple ways to do this. All you have to do is subscribe. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later if you want to. 
turn on post notifications so you guys never miss another video. Or when I stream, you guys won't miss a stream either. Um, like the video also helps. And, you know, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you guys for 150 subscribers. That 150 subscribers special will be coming out very soon. I just have to go and drop like a hundred plus dollars to make that video happen. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your patience. You guys are awesome. You guys feel awesome. Remember, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't. And neither are my opinions. Phase out.